What's up, everybody? It's a Freako Lego here, and I'm coming to you with a new custom. And this is Bill from the first Left for Dead. Yes, uh, I'm going to start doing some Left for Dead minifigures. I already did my Smoker from Left for Dead 2. I'm thinking about doing the whole Left for Dead 1 Survivor Gang along with the Left for Dead 2 Survivor Gang. But this is Bill. Uh, it took me a pretty long time to do, and I'm really proud of it. So let's just go ahead and get into this custom review. So I think I did a really good job on the head and the sculpting, and I think the painting is really good too. I'm proud of his beard. I got an Obi-Wan Kenobi head, and I just uh, made the beard on his head a little more bushy and a little more kind of scrappy and patchy, and it looks really good. He's missing his signature cigarette because I tried sculpting one onto his face, and it would not stick on. So I probably so my bad about that, but it. But anyway, so his beret is really nice. I sculpted the back of his hair on and these little sideburns right there. And, uh, not sideburns, but a hair that comes out from under the hat. And it's kind of, like, really whitening, so I did a lot of white paint texturing. And I think it looks really good. I, the whole head is painted by me except for the eyes and, like, the wrinkles under the eyes. That comes from the Obi-Wan Kenobi head. The beret is pretty well done, too, and I think I did pretty good on the shaping of this, uh, little uh emblem on his on his beret but the head is pretty good and i'm pretty proud of it so let's move on to the torso so the torso is really good in my opinion i completely sculpted on the front of his jacket and i sculpted on his undershirt it's just kind of hard to tell but if you look at it like that angle you can kind of see that the undershirt sort of goes off the top of it like builds up but the jacket his big army jacket and his undershirt is completely sculpted by me. Same with his health kit. Uh, the painting on the health kit could probably need some work, but uh, I think it's pretty good for just uh, a little health kit. And uh, the places where sl sleeves are rolled up is sculpted by me. I used a, uh, let me try to find a paint that I used behind my light box. I used a uh, reflective green, Vallejo for this and it turned out really nice and then I just uh I'm trying to focus on here if you can notice any of these weathering effects like on his sleeves they are pretty hard to notice but if you look at them like right here let me point it out right there you can see one oh, it's in my light box um right there on his lower jacket all of those are just done by uh dry brushing and his shirt is really dirty and I like that too I think that puts a good little effect to it because he's a survivor and then his under and then his like chest I made a little too long but I think it works I think it looks really good I think it makes him look like he's a survivor he's a uh, stressed and he's just really dirty the back doesn't really have that much weathering effect on and I think I need to do that but uh, the torso is def easily my favorite part because I think I did a really good job sculpting on it and it's just a really good sculpt in my opinion <sighs> Sorry for all my background noise. It's kind of just a busy morning. But anyway, so uh, moving on from the torso, we're going to have these legs. Now, the legs are very messy and dirty, and I did that purposefully because uh, for my reference picture, it did not look like he was having a dress nice day, if you know what I mean. So uh, it's very dirty, and the reason uh, the belt is green is because if you put it all together his uh jacket like droops over his undershirt and it kind of looks like that but the pants are really dirty and really nice and i think they're well, not nice really like messy and i think that adds a good effect to it and yeah those are his legs and that strap that's going around is like where his gun holster his pistol holster should be but i don't i actually do have a brick arm or mini bigs pistol holster right here but i don't have super glue and that's too big for him but uh that's his legs and we're going to uh show you his gun now now his gun is a simple sniper from like a brick arms uh pack i think and i just painted the like stock brown and i think it looks really nice even though there are a few scratches like right here is where uh where my thumb is is where uh, his hands were and on the back it's like if you can see that there's a darker brown that's because like the gun would be like the gun's butt would be sitting in the mud and I used a sterling mud texture on that 
And I think that looks pretty cool. I didn't gloss it this time like I did with my Gilly because, you know, it's kind of like not going to be a brand new, fresh. So I decided not to gloss it. But overall, the gun is okay. It's not the best because there's some paint chipping right there. But that is his gun. And we're going to do a 360. And then we will wrap up the video. <laughs> for watching this video it really means a lot sorry i'm not as upbeat as i normally am in my videos i just didn't get a lot of sleep last night but i really appreciate you guys coming and watching my video uh this is bill from left for dead uh yeah i will be back in a couple days with a new minifigure i just finished if i can find him rigby from regular show and i will be showcasing him he's all right but you guys will see it when I do the showcase. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back in like a few days. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks. Deuces!